Clemens Pompey is the founder of the Impact Farm Berlin, a digital business accelerator focusing primarily on the needs of small enterprise companies. He is organizing the Hackathon at ExpoMed, a three-day competition with up to 15,000 euros in prizes. We are happy to partner with him and welcome him today for an ExpoMed video interview. So how are you? Yeah, many thanks, fine. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Tell us something about your background. Uh, so my background is a specific kind of uh, diverse non-health uh, background. Coming from politics, worked for an energy company in the Innovation Hub, focused there in the market of fintech, and then moved over to San Francisco and founded my own company, a crypto lending platform. And what was the experience like working in uh, Silicon Valley? Uh, quite interesting, uh, learned a lot, learned about how uh, to present ideas and how to even negotiate and discuss uh, interesting visions with people who probably are not willing to disrupt their own business. And what do you think about the concept of Exomet and how it brings different innovations together? I highly appreciate the concept because it's really new, it's something different, it's a festival, uh, that's what I really like and uh, the feedback I already got for the hackathon for example is that the industry really likes it as well because they just say ah that's interdisciplinary, that's something totally new, that's a brilliant, so in this case I'm really looking forward to October. In hackathons new ideas sometimes form out of nowhere that no one would think about apart from during these sort of testing times and the time limit and this kind of thing. What examples have you worked on before where someone's come up with a really interesting idea seemingly in the space of two or three days? Maybe let's start a step earlier and uh, explain a little bit the slightly different approach this year with the hackathon. So we will start uh, one month in advance to give the teams, individuals or collective teams, the uh, challenges. So they have four weeks in a row to kind of prepare, even develop if they want to. Uh, come to the hackathon itself at the 10th of October, meeting the judges over there. The judges will elaborate and will um, kind of benchmark what they've achieved within the past four weeks. Then they're starting focusing slightly more into the business part, for example, what is needed for the next 100 days to make this idea a success, and uh, how can we integrate it into, for example, data structures of hospitals or into some kind of, any kind of variables, uh, virtual reality solutions, which also will be presented over there, and where developers also give the APIs, so the kind of uh, links to other hardware and software solutions. Um, this is kind of new, and the reason why we do so is because it focus then more on the outcome. Like probably some people have seen already on the homepage, we are focusing in this time, uh, in this hackathon, much more into experts than into people who will become experts. The reason is we really want to generate an outcome which really solves an issue of future, um, future healthcare issues. Um, let me give you an example. Mm. Think, for example, in Germany, we will uh, see till 2021 our uh, health insurance, e-health insurance card called EPA. Um, many people know what kind of definitions are made for this one, so what kind of data is probably, for example, surname, name is logged in in there. But the interesting question is what comes after 2021 when we do have the EPA? What's next? What are we doing next with this? What is there the idea? could be, for example, a kind of app store, um, probably something totally different. And this is something where an interdisciplinary team can really start thinking in a very creative way and without any kind of limitations and borders. Of course, we will also have lawyers over there and the lawyers will check that we, for example, fit all the time the, the framework of legal settings. For example, in January uh, 2020, uh, new CE regulations will come. And of course, we don't want to take any kind of uh, uh, fantastic ideas, uh, drones or whatever in the, in the hospital. It should be realistic, but it should be also futuristic. And that's what I'm really looking for, for and I'm really excited about these ideas. And so talking more about digitalization, could you see in five years the whole health insurance system being working online itself completely? Mm, itself, so independent, 
interesting approach. Um, we discussed it with an insurance company, for example, having a blockchain-based decentralized insurance, for example, in third world countries. Think about, for example, in uh, developing countries like Rwanda and Kigali, and you have one street and have a nano or micro insurance where the street is insuring themselves. It's kind of a cooperative style of working. And then digitalization could, for example, be the framework for people and thinking totally uh, different because they have only other demands. Maybe people in other countries even have not the demand on this kind of quality of um, medicine or healthcare, what we have nowadays. Um, but giving you the answer to your question is uh, yes. Uh, and no, I do think it depends all the time on the region where we're talking from. Are our regulations also made for having a decentralized... Is, is the system too complicated in Germany to override so simply? That's, so now two hearts are beating. Um, the one heart is my Silicon Valley heart, which says, um, yes, <laughs> it's too regulated. My German-European heart says, uh, no. Uh, you know, there's a very interesting... Uh, effect or an very inf interesting effect happened 2009 uh, when we had the global finance crisis. The American or the Anglo-Saxon um, people integrated a new word called Kurzarbeit, which was the solution from the German industry for not unemployed people and just reduce the limitation of working. And it was because we probably thought a little bit more unsustainable. It was this kind of old school innovation. Correct, they worked half the time and still got For example, three quarters wages or something similar yeah, like that. It was Kurzarbeit, exactly, and that was so impressive and so innovative for the American market that they integrated the whole system over there for their car manufacturers. So I do think it's both sides and it's, uh, it's not like the old economy and the new economy. It's more like um, how can we integrate new stuff into probably a working system. Yeah, I'd just like to ask you, um, do you have any parting message for the people and the community of Expermet? Yeah, uh, the message is quite simple. Um, take part, uh, apply. We have an application phase now from 1st of May till the 1st of September. Apply for it. Uh, no idea is uh, in any kind stupid. And uh, even if you think that's the most craziest idea ever, you're more than welcome. Think totally out of the box, and if you're not, probably just think, ah, I'm probably not so creative. You are, just join, join the party and enjoy, and even look at it and get the spirit, and then take it as a takeaway to your company and just say, okay, I want to integrate this in my hospital, in whatever. That's the takeaway, and that's my message to all the people. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you very much.